Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm upgrading the storage on my 2019 Razer Blade 15 gaming laptop. The plan is to use a tool called Macrium Reflect to clone both my laptop's internal 500GB drive and an external 250GB drive I've been using for extra space. I will be cloning both of these drives onto a new 2TB Samsung 990 Pro SSD. So let's dive in. Once the cloning is done and the new drive is installed, everything will be consolidated onto a single internal SSD with tons of space and no more juggling extra USB cables. The 2019 Razer Blade 15 has been a fantastic machine over the years. With its premium aluminum chassis, powerful NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060 GPU, and smooth 144Hz display, it's still a great gaming laptop for anyone on a budget. And let's not forget about the wicked chroma RGB lighting, which lets you personalize the keyboard with millions of colors and effects through Razer Synapse. Whether you want a subtle glow, reactive key presses, or a full-on rainbow wave, it adds both style and functionality, especially when gaming in low light. But with limited storage and the hassle of relying on an external drive, I knew it was time to upgrade and have everything installed on one drive with extra room to grow. For the upgrade, I went with the Samsung 990 Pro. It's a PCIe 4 powerhouse, and while the 2019 Razer Blade only supports PCIe 3, it still delivers excellent performance and a huge boost in storage capacity, even if I can't quite unlock its full performance potential. The Samsung 990 Pro is a high-performance NVMe M2 drive designed for gamers, creators, and professionals who demand lightning-fast speeds. It delivers read speeds of up to 7,450 megabytes per second, ensuring smooth multitasking, faster load times, and improved system responsiveness. Built with Samsung's advanced VNAN technology and a reliable controller, it offers exceptional durability and efficiency. The drive also features optimized power management, making it energy efficient without sacrificing performance. And with Samsung Magician software, I can easily monitor drive health, optimize performance, and stay up to date with firmware updates. So, how do you actually clone a laptop's internal drive to a new SSD? That's where Macrium Reflect and the Sabrent USB-C tool-free enclosure come in. The Sabrent enclosure makes setup effortless. Just slide in the new M2 SSD, no screws required, connect it to your computer with a USB-C cable, and your system immediately recognizes it as a new drive. From there, Macrium Reflect takes over. Macrium Reflect is a reliable, easy-to-use cloning tool that creates exact copies of your existing drive, including Windows, applications, and files, without the need to reinstall your operating system or programs. It can clone directly from one drive to another, verify the copy for accuracy, and delivers professional-grade reliability. Best of all, you can try it free for 30 days. Once the cloning is complete, just swap out the old drive for the new one and reboot. Your computer will start up exactly as before, only faster and with more space. Oh hey, please check out the affiliate links in the description. They help keep our channel alive. I really appreciate it. Installing Macrium Reflect is quick and straightforward. Simply enter the email address you use to download the free trial, then input the verification code sent to you. From there, just follow the on-screen prompts. The software installs in minutes. A quick reboot finishes the process, and then you're ready to start cloning your drive. When you open the application, you'll see all the drives on the computer. Disk 1 is my internal drive. Disk 2 is the external USB drive. And Disk 3 is the new 2TB drive I will be cloning everything onto. To make things easier to follow, I will first clone the internal drive, install the new drive, and then clone the USB drive afterwards. So I select Disk 1 and then click Clone This Disk. On the new window that opens, I select Disk 3 as the target and click Next. I delete the partitions that Windows created when I connected the drive and click Next. I'm not going to schedule the clone to run later, so I click Next. Review the summary details and click Finish if everything looks good. Confirm that you understand all the data on the target will be erased. 
the cloning process is now running. If something goes wrong, Macrium will alert you to any errors and then you can review and start over if possible. My internal drive has now been cloned onto the new drive. Now I will power down my laptop, remove the old drive, and install the Samsung 990 drive. To remove the back cover and the internal drive, I'm using this awesome Joris 38-piece precision screwdriver set. It has numerous head types that securely fit into the handle, and everything fits into this compact container. Removing the back cover and screws is straightforward. Just make sure to use the correct size screwdriver to avoid stripping them. Once the screws are out, gently use a plastic pry tool to lift the case. Inside, there's a single screw securing the old drive. Once removed, I slide the old drive out, carefully insert the new Samsung 990, and reattach the screw. Now I just need to close the back cover and reinstall the screws. With the hardware swapped, we're ready to power on the laptop and begin cloning the external USB drive. Now after rebooting and opening Macrium Reflect, we can see disk 1 is the Samsung 990 drive, and disk 2 is the old 250GB external USB drive. This time, we're going to select disk 2 and then click Clone this disk. On the next screen, click Select a disk to clone 2 and select disk 1. Now I am going to select the data partition on disk 2 and drag it down to disk 1. Everything looks good, so I click Next. The remaining steps are the same as before, so I continue clicking Next and just wait for the process to complete. Once the second clone is complete, I'll reboot the laptop and disconnect the external USB drive. The final step is to expand the D partition to take advantage of all the extra space. To do this, open Computer Management from the Windows Control Panel, go to Disk Management, right-click the D partition, and select Extend Volume. Just follow the prompts. I'm going to leave a little space unallocated so I can move it to the C partition later, but I'll cover that in a future video. Once the D partition is expanded, Windows Explorer will reflect the additional terabyte of storage. So there you have it, Macrium Reflect and the Sabrent tool-free SSD enclosure. Make cloning your hard drive simple, reliable, and stress-free. Oh hey, please check out the affiliate links in the description. They help keep our channel alive. I really appreciate it. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss our next tech review. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.